All right, everyone, thank you and welcome to the New Essentials Launch Day webinar. This is Jonathan McIntosh, your EVP of Marketing. I'm joined by Steve Hooper from our technology partners, InfoTrax, here today. And we are just absolutely thrilled. We have been working night and day to uh, work to bring this new system live to you. And today's that day. We are officially launched. Now, we're going to go through today and walk through some of the basics of how you get registered, how you're going to access your, your brand spank new personal marketing platform. And uh, we're going to actually go through and, and Steve's going to highlight some of the features and functionality that are now available to you within this. So we're going to start um, here by letting everyone know we will have a chance for questions. Please feel free to use the question tab. If we can get to it in the middle of the webinar, we will. Great. If not, we will go ahead and do that at the end of our session here today. A recording will be made of the session and we will be sending it out to all of our members as well so that they can make sure uh, they understand the ins and outs of the system. So with that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started here. Now, first of all, um, one of the things that we are launching is a new website for all of you here today. Part of that website's purpose was to create a higher level of engagement and education for our membership. Not just for you as members, but also to assist you in growing your business from uh, product sales and bringing on new customers, educating those customers on the benefits of various products, to helping you in building your membership team as a whole. So over the last year, we have been working in developing these technologies, these systems, and new marketing tools and videos for you to leverage and sharing in a digital, um, digital world, essentially. So last week, um, we were at the Evolve Conference. Loved seeing so many of you there. We, are, we demonstrated some of the new technology, we talked about the new systems, and we're gonna highlight some of those here today. And let's get started. So in a moment, each of you will have received an email from New Essentials highlighting how to register your personal marketing platform. We're gonna demonstrate how to do that with a test account here. But to show you, when you go to newcentrals.com, you'll see at the top hand corner here, a member login. Now your previous login from the old system will not work. You need to register a new login credential. It's very simple, very easy to do. All you need is your member ID and your email address to register. We're gonna show you what that may look like. And again, you're gonna have an email in your inbox here shortly that will let you know what your member ID is. On the account, you'll also be able to access all the different features and functionality of the website. You can come in and look at the various products and landing pages. They're now available for you to leverage in developing your business. We have social media features interactive throughout the course of the um, throughout the, the website itself so that you can share those out in simple and easy to use manner. You'll also see, and especially for launch day, we've included a chat functionality. Um, so if you click the chat with us, you can open up the Facebook Messenger app and you can direct your questions um, and we will try to help you out as quickly as we possibly can to answer those questions for you along the way. Feel free to explore, move around the site, give us your feedback. If you find anything that's off or, or needs to be fixed or any of those places, um, certainly we wanna hear about it. We wanna hear about improvements we can make to the system um, all throughout your personal marketing platform. So with that, I am going to show you how to go ahead and register for your uh, New Essentials personal marketing platform. The first step is to go to member login. You click the member login link and it's gonna direct you to a page that looks like this. 
you'll see the username and password and the login information. Now, if you're a first time user into the system, if you are a previous member and you've already enrolled in the past, we brought in your information from the past, but you still need to register and create your account. So you're gonna go ahead and create your account by clicking the create account button there. And you're gonna be, we're gonna request your member ID and email address. Again, check your email inbox for that member ID and your email address obviously is the one that you had the previous account with. And we'll go ahead and show you what it's gonna look like along the way. If we put in a fake user, for instance, we're gonna put in member ID 1054 with a marvelfake.net, click continue. Once you're there, you're gonna see your name and the information that we've carried over from your previous back office. Please be sure to check out that information to see if there's anything that you need to do to, to change or fix that information. And then you're gonna create your username and your new password along the way. So let's create a username for this person real quick. We have Carol, so let's try Carol D and let's put in a password. We'll check any information that we wanna change, and we can do that here if we want to. We're gonna check the I understand and agree with terms of service, and hit continue. You'll see that I've successfully registered my account. I can go directly into my account from there. Now we're in the preview environment, but I'm gonna to demonstrate to you next with um, Steve is going to show you what that looks like within your account. Once you have logged into the system, I'm going to pass it over to Steve Hooper, who is once again our, our technology partner with our InfoTrax back office. Um, you're going to be hearing a lot about the features, the functionality, and how to leverage this in building your system. So with that, Steve, I'm going to make you the host here so that you can share your screen along the way. Well, perfect, John. I thank you so much, and uh, what an exciting way to kick off a, a post-holiday weekend. So glad to be here with you and, and the team today. So let's just uh, uh, continue on. So let me take you right into our environment here today. Make sure we are able to broadcast. So as Jonathan was just noting, once you successfully create that account, we're gonna bring you right to this landing page. You'll notice right where we, we drop right into is a um, you know, full shopping environment and uh, give you that opportunity to go right ahead and look from a product perspective. But some of the things that we're, we're just gonna give you a, a, a quick orientation, but uh, as you've just set up your username and password, I think one of the other things that you're gonna to wanna to, uh, just confirm real quickly is to ensure that right here on your personal marketing platform that you have uh, properly set up your brand in terms of, and we're gonna go right into your site and ensure that and to continue on in that Marvel theme, we just have Captain America right here. And so um, to view that, what you're gonna notice is we have that website name and the alias or again, your brand that you're gonna associate with that. And you can confirm that uh, if this is uh, the site name that you've been working with, great. If there's at any point you'd like to change that, you can come right down in, um, make those changes, click to save them, the system will verify that that site name is available for your use. And with the save, um, just it'll show us confirmation that we've saved and if we, come right back in, you'll see that quickly that we are Captain America. Uh, Jonathan, did you want to talk anything uh, about the naming convention that now what you'll notice is uh, the way the alias of the site is associated, we set it up as it will be captain.newcentrals.com. Uh, is there That's anything? Right. Do, Absolutely. Do so, so the big change here, what you're used to seeing is newcentrals.com slash your alias or your business name. One of the big changes we've made is to move that to the front of the URL. So it will be 
captainamerica.newcentrals.com in this case. Very important here um, that that makes sense to you um, because that's, that's a, a, a critical change that will be moving forward for us. And your email should show that particular change for your particular business as well. All right. Well, thank, well, well let's just do a um, kind of a quick overview. So visually, you can see and start to think through in your mind, uh, how do you, and, and again, using Jonathan, how do you engage uh, with uh, this platform now? And so some of the things that we'll want you to just be familiar with in terms of a, a top menu item, we'll note right here at any point that you want to return right to your landing page, uh, we'll bring, you can come right in here and we'll show you that my PMP will actually drop you right into a business portal. So this is where the, the activity, if I want to leave a shopping experience, I can step right in, come right into this. I'm gonna drop right back to that shopping experience again. This is uh, the default landing page. The other actions that I can engage with right here is if I want to enroll a new customer, a new member to come in and be part of my team, I can go ahead and carry out that engagement here. A couple things over in the upper right, you'll notice and we'll get into there's actually a direct messaging platform that is built right into the tool. If you just think about how you direct message, be it Facebook, LinkedIn, and others, that we have a direct messaging. There's a full message center that you can communicate with your team and even with your sponsor. Uh, exchange this information, you'll, and you'll see account of those messages. You can also set up your account to where you get a notification that you have messages waiting for you. One of the others right here is, we'll come again, a very familiar drop down is to come in and look at, here's my account and the things that I can view. And if you think of kind of my account set up, my preferences, uh, much like other uh, shopping experiences or account management type features, we'll go through those in just a few minutes. A couple of the other things that we can do right across the top again is I can shop. I have my business, and then I have my team. And so we'll, we'll go through and distinguish the functionality that you will see within each of these respective um, menu selections. So the first one is, let's talk about uh, your, new, your shopping experience. Now that shopping experience is presented right here, and to allow you to engage in that shopping experience, you have different things. You, you notice on screen that you can come right in and select a product category. If you click on that category, it will come up and, and indicate to you all the items that are available within that category. So from the initial page, we have a level of engagement. If however, you'd like to look at it just from a menuing perspective, you can come right down and select any one of those items. It will carry you to that category. So again, drop down menu or scroll and select that one. And then at any point that you would like, or if you want uh, to just search for you know, a specific product, you'll notice that as soon as you start typing, um, we go ahead and start to do a partial name recognition. We will identify all of the occurrences within that, where that product is located um, throughout the shopping cart. So that capability exists there as well too. And a couple of the other items as we look and, and think about, again, uh, future growth and opportunities, you'll note uh, what country that you're shopping in. And then there is just a cart overview right now telling us that you know, our shopping cart is empty. So let's just um, walk through this. Pick, a, you know, we've typed our alert in here. And if I were to uh, purchase a two pack, I would come right in. Um, we've tried to ensure that you've got a good visual representation of the product, a description of what the product is, and then you will see those different ones in terms of um, how we come in. Now, at any point, you're able to select uh, quantities, move up and down, add it to cart. As soon as you add it to cart, you'll notice that quickly, I'll just add another one to cart, and you'll see you'll get a um, a quick view that this has been successfully added to the cart. And if you want, then you can make continue to shop uh, again through a search, through a drop down. Even if I were to click on that shopping icon, that information is still stored within my cart. 
at any point that you want to view what's in the cart, you just click right on that shopping cart. Shows us what we've got here. Nice thing here is you can come right in if you need to adjust quantities or if you want to uh, remove a line item or click continue shopping to add additional items to the cart. Um, very straightforward, very similar to uh, that, that cart management that you would expect to see. And this is the same shopping cart experience that a customer will have as a member. So if you'll think through that. Now let's just look at if we were to go ahead and indicate that we would like to proceed to checkout. So this one's going to go through, and if you think about what is it doing right now, it's going to go out and verify shipping, taxation, and the information here, just again, a quick step. I confirm my address. If I need to change it, I've got the ability to change it right here. Um, the one thing, again, you think about from a security perspective, especially in today's world, given uh, privacy concerns, um, and to protect each of those, uh, in terms of their shopping experience with New Centrals, credit card information is not stored, but you're going to be asked to not stored within this platform. It's stored in a in a vault. It's a secure transaction. So in in this case, we would enter the CVV associated with that card, validate that the person is shopping has that card present with them, and then go ahead and complete a purchase. And upon that purchase, we'll come up with an an order confirmation. Uh, oh, Jonathan, it looks like Captain America's having a having a tough time. The Avengers aren't painting very well. He got beat I, up pretty bad last He got time. beat up. Again, we're in a test environment, mm -hmm. but this would go through and show you, give you a confirmation as to that order being completed. So if, if we, again, let's just step back. And Jonathan, as you think, are there any other touch points that you'd want here within that shopping experience? But we've tried to, um, look at it and it's almost you know amazon-esque to say okay let me do my search let me hit the cart and now let me go through and just a, a check out those cards that i've chosen to store uh within the vault are available to you that you can go ahead and and manage through otherwise we will come right in here and say here's my cart let me complete my purchase verifying you're done so again we've tried to streamline that experience and it will be a similar experience be it a customer or be a member. Um, Steve, why don't you go to um, the energy category real quick and make sure that we show this, highlight this feature. There's the ability to quick add certain uh, products as well. So if you see the shopping cart on any of your um, uh, categories there, you can go ahead and add it right there from the screen. It becomes available to you. So that's a, a neat feature that allows you to move very quickly through the process. And then if you, if you um, are within, let's go into, let's, for instance, the alert two ounce uh, for a second here. Okay. Go actually into the cap of the clip through. Either, yep. Scroll down a little bit, all the way to the bottom here. So you'll see also related products um, to assist in that process so that we understand uh, different packs that may be available to you along the way. And, and those will change and modify as we um, create better efficiencies for what things sell best together. So uh, that's another neat feature that's going to be that's available to you now. And one of the other ones, while we're talking about some of these things again, this is to show uh, related products. The other one that becomes uh, important for you is if you've been uh, going ahead and uh, talking with friends, sharing your experience. On, on all of the shopping pages, you have the ability to go right ahead and say that I would like to share this information and put it right into uh, my, you know, my Facebook, my link. Uh, I can go ahead and share that via Twitter or Pinterest. And that link that now is embedded in that, in, within your Facebook feed, if someone clicks on that, it's gonna bring them right to your individual um, website. And so great opportunity here in terms of a social aspect of things that you can do here within the cart as well, too. Yeah, important interactivity is one of the main pieces that that social aspect of things allowing you to plug into your existing networks of friends and family. Um, we've really worked hard to make that a piece of every interaction you're going to make in this digital environment. And so uh, please leverage those things for those of you that were at the Evolve conference. 
Um, you know exactly how powerful that can be, that social influence. Um, these are tools right there in, in front of you to uh, make that even easier. Now let's go ahead then and we'll, we'll transition. We'll look at what is that uh, this marketing platform that I'm, I'm working off of and, and the different things that now become available to you. And you know, there are things here. One quick one is we, we understand that people uh, engage at the company a little bit differently when they're a, a new member versus you know when they're developing a, a sales team, that organization, you know, moving into that role of a sales leader. And so there is uh, a basic product that is available for free to all of the members that they will be able to shop and enroll, look at the dashboard, the summary information, their reports that are available. They can successfully see and engage with what's going on within uh, their team. For those of you that really want to now personalize that level of engagement, uh, there will be some additional uh, capabilities. We'll talk through those as, as we step into this. But right now, this, my personal marketing platform, will bring you right to a dashboard. And the things that have been placed on this dashboard by Jonathan and the executive team, this is where we want you just visually seeing what is happening within your organization. Again, we're using a test data set here, but this qualification widget, this little module right here on your left side, is a good visual of where are you uh, as of this point in time. And you can look and say, what is my current paid rank? And so these are calculated um, you know, as, as orders are, are set and pushed in, and as we update that information, this calculation will show you can select uh, any of the uh, ranks that are associated with this and look and say, um, I'm presently being paid as a regional at this point in time within this period. And you will notice each of, and I can go back and look at the current and two previous periods. And we're gonna go ahead and show you what that group volume is and we will step right down and show you where that team volume comes from. So. If, if I wanted to say, what do I need to do uh, to be paid at that next rank? You'll notice uh, a quick selection of the rank. Come right in and show you that here are the requirements. And so I, I need 18,000 a group. I'm currently at 10, just over 10,000, almost 11. Visually, I can see what do I need to do to, in order to achieve that next rank uh, for both of these volume requirements. And just a quick plug here, Steve. Um, for those of you that may look at this and say, what is PB? What is GB? What is MTB? These terms, these phrases um, where we have personal volume, group volume, and main team volume, the, if they're not familiar to you, one of the things that we have launched and one of the things that is now available to you is the New Essentials Academy. Within your back office, and I'll show you this in resources, or if, if you scroll down, Steve, you can see this within the quick links. Uh, I, actually, it's not on this one, but in our live, you scroll down to the quick links section, and it will have an Essentials Academy. Go there, go through the orientation academy process. Watch the videos, and you'll understand what these terms mean and how they're gonna apply to your, your business. Uh, it's very important that all of our members go through this, and we will be promoting this for all new members that are going through our process. They will automatically get emails and updates and, and encouraging them to go through the Essentials Training Academy because it's gonna help set you up with a good understanding of how your business works and how to be successful moving forward through that process. So I, I wanna plug that here because as you look at this and you see these terms, don't get overwhelmed. Some of them are familiar, some of them are new, it's very important that you understand how this applies, um, just so that you can you can feel confident and comfortable. But at the same time, we're taking care of these things for you. We're calculating your volume for you and putting it in the right categories um, so that you can see exactly what you need to do to move forward. And 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 again, you'll you know what Jonathan's pointed out right here in our this dashboard where we expect you to come and land and, and to quickly see what's important both from a company perspective as well as what's important within your team, those actions that are going on. You can roll down, again, there's full calendar uh, integration. The, 
The team will show you these quick links, will point you specifically to areas that we want you to have quick access. And then you'll notice across the bottom that I can go to my account, which we looked at, we'll go through in just a few minutes, my business that we're on right now, my team, and my messages. So we have those links again right down at the bottom in addition to across the top. So this qualifications module, again, where am I right now? And I'll show you in just a minute that you can also see the qualification status of every person within your team. And that becomes important as you then begin to engage uh, with those members, because what we're really trying to help you with is who should I work with today and why am I working with them? And so through the reports, through the drill down capability, you'll be able to see. So we look at a qualifications. Again, I can look at previous periods to see how I did, also how others did. And then I can look at really what needs to happen in order for me to progress from where I am today in order to move to that next level. And you'll look, even this GV or the group line, if I click on that, I get a quick view of my teams, those respective individuals, where that volume is coming from. And I can go right in now and I can click on any one of those. Again, where it's blue, that means it's, there's drill down capability. I can now see how Spidey's doing. I have information that I can look at contact information. So you're gonna see current rank, how to contact them, I can message them, I can click this link and actually just see his team and know and exclude out the others, but it lets me continue to focus on those. I'll see a line of sponsorship and this is what we're talking about. I see that qualifications module, where is he, what needs to happen in order to get to that next rank, shows that on PV, personal volume, we're there, group volume, we we're at 300 out of 2,000. And it gives me context or it educates me on how to interact and the things that I need to be encouraging and teaching and training on. And one quick aspect here as well too is I can actually go in and see the product that was purchased and, and know, and again, more context. And I, I'll be able to look at Spidey and those other distributors, representatives within his team, and actually see those products that they're coming to experience and building their sales teams on. This is, this is Jonathan. You guys need to understand how powerful this is because one of the things that can happen is you, you look at a team or you speak to a team as a group and you say, do better more often. And that is out of the context of relationship. That is out of the context of relevancy. This tool set allows you to create relevancy in your conversations, educates you on what you need to do to improve, what an individual needs to do to improve. It helps you highlight um, the areas of success, the people that you want to double down on, the ones that are really working and moving forward. And it also helps you identify those members of your team that need some encouragement, need some additional coaching along the way. And it gives you specific guidance of how to motivate and encourage. I need 1,700 more GV. This is how we want to get there. Um, these are the things that you should put on auto ship. These are the things that you should be ordering. All of those pieces are now available to you, and you can even write notes about those um, ideas within each of these individual groups. So uh, powerful tools designed for purpose, not just to give you more data, but as Steve's been showing you, it's has specific business cases within it so that it allows you um, to improve upon your overall growth. Again, just as Jonathan noted, uh, I can go in right here and start to manage it and track notes, especially of conversations that I've had. That way, th throughout the system, wherever uh, this name is presented, I have access to this information, that qualification module on them, their contact information, previous orders and any notes that I've now set are things that I want to to make sure that on future conversations I have with them that I can follow up with them. Let, let's look right here at key measures. This is designed, uh, if you think of, you know, what are those key performance indicators? What's going on within my team? Um, there is a tabular view for those who are um, that, that uh, are brand new and that are coming in with a, a basic version, a graphical view, and tabular for those that subscribe you know, to uh, kind of the Engage tool. And so you'll see right here in terms of personal sponsoring, group sponsoring, where am I this month? 
uh, where am I as of today, and what's happened within the last four weeks. So we come right in and see this information at any point in time that you'd like to look at it. We, again, we can go to a graphical view or tabular view. You'll notice that this information, again, is drillable. So we select it. We quickly see here are those nine new members within my group. And now we start looking at, a, a, again, it is to educate me on what's happening within my team and allow me to have some context uh, for what has happened. So I have nine new members within this group. I can come right in, just as we did. Wherever you see a name, that name um, where it's highlighted in blue is drillable, and I can go in and look at uh, the information associated with that individual. Every column has been selected uh, by the team here to come in and say, here's the information that we want to ensure, again, to give context for conversation, so if, if we notice right quickly, we'll see a name, but a status, a customer or a distributor. Now, one thing we'll show you is wherever there's a report that is presented to you, all of the columns are sortable. If you click it once, it will sort it low to high for you. Click it a second time, it will now do a reverse sort and go high to low. And so if I were to take this report, look at the new people that are within my team, see these customers, that gives me context for a conversation, a follow-up, even coming in and looking at that enroller. I've got enrollment date, volume information will be shown. Again, this will be as labeled as an auto ship volume, who the enroller actually is, and I can come right in and look at the activity, who's actually performing and engaging in those activities within my team, and do the recognition not only to those new individuals, but also to these top enrollers. So that, again, if we come back, you'll, you'll see this information is right available within key measures. And the measures we said that we want you to be aware of is to always look at my, your personal sponsoring, those customers that you're introducing to the product, and those individuals you're having conversations with that choose to engage in a, in a business here. Real quick, then, Steve, um, great question. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Uh, what is C and D? Um, the difference, it's customer and distributor. Customer and distributor. So that's letting you know um, who's a customer and who is a member. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jonathan. These others were available, graphical format. But again, if you prefer tabular, that information is available here with the same drill down capability. So we come right in and we're going to give you a summary by week. Uh, a good view of what's happening within an organization in terms of that weekly group volume and sponsoring activity. And you'll be able to see as that information is updated just within your respective team. So this really is a, a, intended to be your dashboard, give you a quick view and give you the ability then to drill into certain information, be it on those that you sponsored or those that are sponsored within your team or to go ahead and look at um, where we are in terms of the team volume that's going on. So with this, we're gonna transition now. Let's look at the actual under my business and we're gonna to go to this next section, which is really reports. I want to talk about what those reports are. One of you may notice, you'll, you'll come right in and see there's that new member reporter. Those nine people that are new in your group, you will see those nine individuals right on this new members report. We have search capability, so as your, as your team grows and the activity that's going on there, you can come in and do a search by name. And if you were to go ahead and start doing a partial, uh, it will recognize, as soon as it can recognize a name, it will present right here on screen for us. So we come right in. One of the other features that we have right here is, this is where we get into some of the communication aspects. I can now broadcast a message if I am an engaged subscriber, I can broadcast a message to these nine people. And you think about, well, what would that be? Well, I've got a Saturday morning product training that I want to invite them to. That message could include um, one of our training documents and some of the approved content that the company provides. Here is, and we'll look at some of the resources that we can do there. One of the other things we can do is you can look at a location map or I can actually see this in a graphical tree format. But again, we talked through each of these columns are sortable. You can select each name is one that I can click on drill into 
see that information associated with that individual, again, giving me context or educating me about the actions that this individual has taken uh, so far, uh, you know, in terms of their level of engagement with the company. This is one to come and look at. Here are my new members. And if you do a quick sort, I mean, just again, let's look at which of my new representatives have already sponsored someone. And I come right in and I look at those that are sponsored. So I have context on what their engagement has been. That helps me frame a conversation with them. And then I have also an opportunity to come back in and look at those who have not sponsored yet, and especially, you know, these individuals that are distributors and, and maybe invite them to a different training session. So if you'll, the, the reports then are designed to support you in terms of uh, different conversations about and views of what's going on within your team. So we have a new member report that we're looking at right now without going into all of them, but I'll show you, for example, there's a new rank advancement report. All right, and go to Spider-Man. So Spider-Man has already qualified this period as a new CMR. So I've got an opportunity to shout out to Spider-Man and we could even look and we're gonna show you who that sponsor is and Captain America happens to be a sponsor, but now there's that dual recognition. I can recognize that new rank advancement as well as their sponsor here. So some of the other report center show you all of your personal enrollees, show you those that are active, and then actually come in and we'll show you a, a bonus summary. And it, we're in a test environment, we've run commissions. This will start to show you a graphical view. And if you come right in here, a graphical view of that bonus summary and come right in and um, do it in terms of a line chart to give you an idea and you can start to see some of that trending that is happening within your team. You will be able to come down and look at that bonus, each of the bonuses that have been calculated and paid. And at any point in time, you'll see their earnings, but you can then drill in and look at the information and see where did those earnings actually come from? So we'll see in a retail bonus that was paid, was, uh, our PSB, and, and the others that are now detailed out, that quick start bonus. And if you will scroll down, you'll see that quick start bonus. Any of these bonuses we can select, actually see who we were paid on. So that pack that was purchased, that profit. That was, so you can do it here. You can also come right over into that quick start bonus, click that. So again, a tabular view, so to speak, with links or a graphical view that you can come in see how those areas are doing, and at whatever point you want to go back to that summary page, select it, click right here. As that as this commission activity builds over time, you'll be able to go back and look at current activity, previous activity, and then select those respective bonus types. So again, from a reports standpoint, if we come back in, just look at right of our standard reports, these are designed here again to give you quick context report selection, view the report, ensure that you're going through familiarizing yourself with the information that is presented here and to give you context in the training and coaching that you need to do or the recognition that you do within your team, all of these columns again are clickable, one click, low to high, two clicks, high to low, and drillable, select the name, go to the detail associated with that individual, take the action that you're looking for. Steve, yeah. is, is any uh, is all of this available on the free? Um, all of all of these, platform? the reports are all available on the free. The um, those that are uh, in step into a subscription will get location and views of that information, and the ability to broadcast to the entire team. On the free version, I can come in and I can broadcast to send a message to an individual. Great. Okay. Thank you for that. And, and if you think about that, as my team is small, my communications will primarily be one-on-one. -on -one. As that team grows and I have, the ability, I have the need within my organization to start to uh, better communicate and understand those dynamics going on within my team, the broadcast functionality really comes into play there. Now, Jonathan, as, as we prepare here to go into the resources areas, is this something that you wanted to, uh, to, to address quickly?
yeah, let me just quickly show and let me share my screen over here real quick. I just wanted to showcase um, the fact that once you are in the live system, um, you'll see a resource screen, a resource library that looks like this, where you'll have your essential information here. Um, and uh, let me make sure that's shared. Okay, so you'll see your resource library, um, essential information like member applications, a lot of information that you're used to seeing, but some new stuff along the way. Um, all of the applications, order forms have been updated to reflect the new um, system. Um, we also have the member master price list. Now this is really important for something new that is being um, rolled out as part of this new system. It's called QV, and that's qualifying volume. QV is a new way to look at how we deal with um, rank advancement and um, ensuring that you are um, uh, you're, you're, get your full compensation each week along the way. So please take a look at the member master price list. The other piece I wanted to highlight was the multimedia function. Within the multimedia, you'll come in here. We're going to be adding to this all the time. This broadcast itself will also be included into this multimedia library. So we'll have a webinar section where you can come in and you can click through to the links or embedded um, videos, images um, along the way that will continue to help you grow your business. So this is a place that we're working to continue to evolve um, and build out. But you'll see a lot of the new um, videos that those of you that were at the Evolve conference got a chance to see. And one of the things I really want to highlight is make sure all of you go in and take a look at the new opportunity video we just released, unveiled. Um, we'll be submitting some Facebook posts on it as well along the way but it's a very exciting um, brand new um, business presentation that's, that's going to knock your socks off. So that's, that's all I wanted to show there, Steve. Okay. And, and a quick one, just following up that broadcast button. If you are an engaged participant, you have the ability to sit here and uh, broadcast or share this content directly with uh, other members. Um, and, and you can do it by groups. We could, you'll have the ability to do it, uh, come right in and do it even on an individual basis. So a, again, it's looking at what information does an individual need? And as you are drilling through activity, um, you know, within their team, that's the information that you now can come in and share. You've got context, you've taught, now share the information that's gonna help them be successful. Now, in order to ensure we've got some time uh, you know, to, for any Q&A here in just a minute, I'm going to touch on a couple of additional areas. One is web meeting. Now, what we've done here is we've integrated and, and done a full web meeting integration into the tool. So if you think about what is web meeting and the tool that we've actually, the provider to show the types of companies at New Centrals and that we work with is um, those that are engaged subscribers will have a full Zoom integration into their PMP here. So within this platform, you can go in and if you think, how does that help me? Well, on any of the reports that you're going to be on, we will be enabling a feature that you can go to that new member report and say, let me send these nine people we we're just looking at a minute ago and we can send them an invitation uh, to join you in a Zoom meeting where you can do a, a new on a process, that, that training, that onboarding and really help them engage. And so You'll have the ability here to schedule meetings, come right in, schedule date, time, duration, schedule that meeting. And just to show you, this is you know, our team meeting. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hold that uh, meeting on Friday. We normally do it at three. And I want to go ahead and schedule that meeting. Now, you have the, the ability on a web meeting, uh, that you, and how do I now want to communicate that? You can send it from your own email. You can actually send a direct message within the platform to them. You can come back and, in. You'll and Steve, I wanted to highlight something with the sending the message as well. Um, just so that everyone is aware, um, with messages that are sent from the platform, um, those stay within the platform. You get a little, if you scroll up to the right there, you'll see a little message icon. Uh, users will have the ability to, uh, they'll get an email. Usually it's a default um, notification setting. 
but they'll get an email letting them know they have a message waiting within their personal marketing platform. Um, so the messages you send out are secured within um, a logged in uh, a session here within the system itself. Um, the, the individual users can also choose to get a text message or even a phone call when a new message is sent their way. So be sure you come in here and take a look at the message center messages that are waiting for you, whether it's a web meeting invite or whether it's um, a, a direct email, uh, I'm sorry, a message from a member of team broadcasting something to you. Those will live and breathe within your message center so you will get a notification and the message is waiting within your regular email associated with your account. And a couple of things is when you first go to um, actually start a web meeting. So you can schedule meetings and, and if you think about it, you can copy that link, share it with others, copy and paste, put it into an email. If you're on your phone, this site, um, just to show you one of the capabilities here that we haven't talked about much is we now come into a site that is fully mobile responsive. So depending on the device, be it you come in on your mobile phone and you log in, you'll notice that we've got full capabilities here, full, fully responsive. It's gonna recognize the device that you're in. You could come in and log in on a tablet or if we're actually working off of a laptop or a desktop. So that functionality is one that you make, you leverage, your business goes with you wherever you are, however you're working with your team. Uh, web meeting, Zoom requires just a quick install of an applet and be it on your uh, laptop or on your phone, it'll do. It'll check whether that's been installed or not. If not, it'll just download and install real quickly so that it can handle those user interface and presentation, those things. Again, you can schedule a meeting. One of the things I want to show you is this web meeting that uh, you can schedule, you can have up to 50 participants, and those are all 50 fully participating in that meeting. If you want, you can do what we're doing today where we have a webinar. And in a webinar, I'm just show you, as your team grows, you can have 100, 500, you can go up to 1,000 people that are right here in terms of that room size, schedule that, and schedule that meeting. And in a webinar, you can have 50 active presenters, up to 50, and 1,000 participants. So trying to give you the functionality support that you need within your team there based on the size of that organization. And then if you just want to meet now, you'll click meet now, and then you can share that link right out. Think if you're on your phone, I wanna meet now, I press it, I copy, and then I text that link right over to a friend, have them join me just right, right in that. Um, we're gonna look at a couple of dis different uh, additional items. So now let's transition to within my team. Now, my team is, let's look at my organization. Before we were looking at reports, communicating with those people within that report format based on different activities. This is, let me see my team. And we present it to you in three different views for engaged subscribers at Graphic Tree, Detailed Genealogy, and Business Groups. Um, for those new representatives, they will not have the business groups available to them in that free version. And so the, a graphic tree is one that is, it's nice in terms that it's visual, and it's intended to show you how teams, uh, what the build strategies are within teams. So I'm just gonna change and go up to an, a number of levels that we will show. You can look at the size of that organization. And we're trying to give you information that will help you look at a team. The key is gonna show you by rank. So it's color coded by rank. We've highlighted those that are customers. You can see where those customers are within that organization. As you mouse over each name, you're gonna see their rank, their ID, what their personal volume is, again, to give you context. You can come right in and filter. Uh, again, we're in a test data set, but if I said I wanna see everybody on AutoShip, it will gray out all of those that are not on AutoShip. Let me see, and highlight those who are on AutoShip, and there's a little indicator right within it. Let me see all of my new members. You'll see those that are great, those that are not, and then we get into active. So we have a graphical view. Again, good for looking at build strategy. You can double click on any of these, and again, bring up that user profile as you look at that strategy, look at the way they're building, 
come right in, let me drill now, let me get that information and communicate message, phone, or get in contact right with that sponsor, that team. We turn around and do the same thing within a, again, a tabular. This is, let's show you right within a column their format, the, all of the information associated. And so this detailed genealogy becomes a great source. This is available in the basic version. Without going into a lot of detail, those that are on the engaged package can come in and actually personalize it. There's information they want to see, they can remove off, or they can come right in and look at it and say, I really only want to look at, you know, those who have achieved a certain rank, move these over and just display these. So we're giving those sales leaders the ability to personalize uh, the report layouts, filter that. Let me come in and these columns and filters are again available to those leaders. Let me come in and look at auto ship or let me look at personal volume or group volume. And I could be looking at those who are almost achieving uh, a certain rank and it's you know right here within um, our bonus cycle and help me focus on who those people that I need help, uh, that I need to work with to help them get across the finish line. So this detailed genealogy again, if you come in and look, columns again are all sortable. Let me come in and I could click on rank and I could look at paid rank and see how my team is performing, who's already qualified at specific ranks. So we have rank, our four-week personal volume, four-week group volume, that team volume, and then come in and give you some information about their enroller, and then contact information so that you can follow up with that individual as quickly as you need to. So again, uh, Jonathan, anything you wanna add on our detailed genealogy? No, that's great. I think the important part is just to keep thinking about how does this apply to uh, make you uh, better at communicating directly with your team. Uh, this isn't just about getting lost in the data. This is about having a purpose and trying to figure out how to grow your team and move forward. So make sure as you're in here, as you're looking at these types of things, look for ways to engage with those individuals. If you see something you want to ask them about it, give them a call shoot them an email, send them a message. All of these things are available right here from this page and allow you to interact on the, on the relationship level that's going to benefit you in your business moving forward. So very, very important that you keep that in mind as, as you are gonna have, you're gonna be rich in data opportunities. Yeah. Um, and especially as your team grows, you're gonna see more and more of that. Um, and I just, I, I just encourage all of you to keep that in mind of think about how to use this for your benefit moving forward. And, and a couple of items again, just as uh, Jonathan was saying, that communication, broadcast to them, one-on-one -on -one communication, or didn't, didn't mention this one, but if you look real quickly as a mouse over, I can go in and drill down again just on that one and look at that team. So uh, data rich, as it was just said, you've got the ability here again to frame and continue to uh, drill down to a level of engagement that you have within your organization, be it a, a team that is brand new or one that is uh, very strong and growing, and you can see where that information is. Drill down in, take a view, and then work directly with those individuals, that leader within your sales organization. Business groups, will just highlight quickly, a business group is the ability to take a custom view. If you if you look right here within this group, I can come in and create business groups that are based on geography, based on rank, based on activity, and s establish that so that I can quickly, again, visually see what's happening within the team and then communicate with them. Because we wanted to just make sure we get a time to visit is, to the right of your name, you'll notice that um, we can come right in and look at your account and then we'll touch on our messaging. So this should be very familiar to you in terms of, it's my account, it's uh, my, where, where do I set my preferences? If I need to change my mailing address, I come here, my email address, update phone number on file, upload a profile picture, your security, it's your password management. If you wanna see all the transactions on your account, we come here. The settings that we just talked about, notification settings, uh, all of our, Basic users will be able, they'll get uh, email notification by default. The engaged users 
will be able to come in and say, I actually want text notification as well too. And they'll get that text notification that they will manage. There's the ability to, again, maintain your shipping. You think about that profile, where am I, where do I want those orders delivered? And then we get into payment information and that we can come down through and then Jonathan, do you want to touch on this at all or? Yeah, I do actually. So there's a couple things here. Um, one is one of the big changes we've made is the ability to choose your charity. Um, we have carefully selected a group of charities. And if you go to your uh, new essentials, uh, new slash charity page, you'll be able to see more information about each of these. But the idea behind it is we wanted to give a percentage um, of, of overall product sales to a charity of your choice. And so um, this gives you the chance to come in, select which one you believe best represents your passion, and then we will calculate um, those sales regarding uh, who's chosen what along the way. So we will always uh, be looking at new charities, evolving that, and we'll keep it as a, as a small handful in order to have the greatest impact. Um, the other thing before you move forward, I wanted to highlight, um, we tomorrow will be having a dream pay webinar. Um, you'll take a look at the Facebook page or your email inbox in which we're going to go over in detail how to register for your dream pay account, how that impacts you um, as we move to a weekly pay system and the ability for you to get as a member your dream pay MasterCard check card. Um, so that's going to be an Extremely exciting new change, um, highly versatile money management system um, that allows you to get paid faster. Faster is good, both in terms of data and being paid for those product sales that are happening within your team. So yeah, if you'll, if you'll take the time to go through this, your account, you can view your orders. Here's where you will come in to actually manage your auto ship activity. And you'll see there's no auto ship on file. And to keep it, um, if I want to create a new one, you will notice that we are now going to use that same shopping experience so that it is consistent for you, for your customers as they go into creating an auto ship. We're going to give you an indication right up here at the top that you're creating an auto ship. So if you were to come in, make that product selection and say, I've now have an auto ship, let me proceed. And I'm going to go ahead. Again, we're telling you you're, you're managing. We're going to use the same flow and go ahead and say, I'm still creating that new auto ship. Let me go ahead and create this, change it. And so I now have an established an auto ship order using that. It tells me what my template number is. Again, I'm in the cart, but we want you to make sure that it's a familiar experience. Select it. If I need to come in and change it, I would come right in and just click on that change and go through the cart. And just to show you that I now can choose, if I only want to change my shipping address, I change my shipping address and save it. If I need to change payment information, I just make that one change and save the template. Or I can actually come right in and I can add other auto ships. We'll see cancellation feature, or I can actually edit the contents that are within that order. So again, simplified uh, cart management, same experience, but you will notice that whenever I'm in an auto ship record, this is not going to create an order right then. It's that template that is being managed for you. And then let's look at, if we, we've talked about the message center. Just want to show you here real quickly. So when you do get a message, you come in, you can click, you'll see who that message is from. So we come right across, we'll see my messages. If I want to create a new message, I can. And I can also see all the messages that I've sent. So I'll come right in and we'll see information on, I'm again, trying to say context, who's this from? I can see that message, respond to it, and, and work just as you would within a traditional direct messaging platform. A new message, I come right in, I can search by name. And again, for uh, those with a base subscription, subscription by name or by ID, those that are on the engage will actually be able to search by business groups and within all the reports, they'll have that capability. Full WYSIWYG capability. Do I want the recipient to be able to forward it? Can they reply to it and go through? And then at any point I can see all the messages that I've sent. You will be able to see how many it was sent to, 
It was delivered, just as Jonathan said, private network here. These messages are secure. Um, I can see the eight people, and I can actually go in and see who's actually read that notification from me. So good information here to say who's opened it, but who hasn't. And I may need to, again, do some additional training that, uh, within that team. So, John, I think that probably wraps us up in terms of uh, a high-level view. I, I think as Jonathan cautioned you, you this is data rich. Um, go ahead, you'll, you'll come to explore it and learn again, who am I working with? Why am I doing it with context for that conversation? Ultimately, it goes down to this is to give you as much information available in context so you can further the relationships that you already have with your customers and the relationships that you have within your sales organization. So with that, you know, um, we'll continue to uh, enhance this tool and work with Jonathan and the team in terms of making it one that is uh, effective and efficient for you in your business. So Jonathan, thank you. appreciate being able to spend a few minutes. Did, do we want to open this up if there are any questions? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And as we're doing that, go ahead and use the uh, Q&A uh, chat function there. Send in your questions. I've been answering some along the way. Um, uh, some great ones as well. Um, I did want to just real quick highlight once again for those of you that uh, came on board a little bit later. Um, I want to show real quick how you're going to register your account. So it's um, when you come on to your new personal marketing platform, you need to first register your account to get access to that back office. Uh, to do that in your email, you should see a uh, email in your inbox right now that has your member ID and your email address and with instructions on where to go. Um, but you're gonna, you can click member login if you just come to the main site and you'll come to the sign-in screen, click create account. Creating account will ask you for your member ID and your email address associated with your previous back office. Once you put those in, you'll be directed into um, a confirmation of a new password um, and your username, as well as verifying your contact information. And then from there, you will have access to your personal marketing platform and can explore everything that we've been demonstrating to you here today. The same is true for customers. Customers that have accounts in the old system. They have also been sent an email letting them know what their customer ID is. They will do the same process. There's a button in their email that they will click. They can come in here, um, put in their, their ID, their email address, click continue. We'll verify their information. We'll hit save and that's how they'll manage auto ship information um, or their store credit cards on file. So, that's going to be an important change along the way. Um, that, that piece, once those are in the system, um, they will be good to go and can manage moving forward. Your customer, your auto ship information has automatically transitioned into the new system. So auto ship orders um, will continue to run as they have before. Um, so you will not have to do additional, um, anything additional in order to manage that process they will continue to be in the system. Uh, the other thing I wanted to highlight is once again, um, your URL is gonna have changed. So if we give an example of that, if we went to activetree.essentials.com, this is what a URL will look like. Activetree, your alias.essentials.com. And then from here, whenever you click shop or you interact with anything, um, you will automatically be given credit associated with your account. So please um, use that new link in sending it out to people um, as, as we wanna make sure you get credit along the way. So I think that's it. I think we answered all of the questions um, along the way. Um, with that, I just wanna say once again, tomorrow we will have a webinar that's gonna look at how to set up your dream pay system, how to manage your account, and making sure this is the way that you are going to get paid moving forward. All of the month of August, all the commissions month of August will be paid the way that they're traditionally paid, um, and we will, we've will we closed out August. That will be paid via check or direct deposit, and moving forward, you will start being paid in the new DreamPay system. So please make sure you set up your account 
um, get access to your funds, you can transfer them into your bank account, or you can use your new DreamPay MasterCard to access these funds as well. It's an exciting new change for us. Um, if there's no other questions, we appreciate it. Again, feel free to reach out to us, Facebook Messenger. We're, we're here, we're working hard to make sure we answer your questions or fix anything for you along the way. Um, or reach out to us at support at newcentrals.com. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Facebook and, and uh, make sure you comment. It's an exciting time for us and, and we are so excited to have evolved in the Central's company. We look forward to you growing your business exponentially. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you soon.